Welcome to this week's NFL Weekly Picks on TLB TV. We're going to be picking the wild card games. I'm Alex Flum, joined by Liam Beatus, Lamar Johnson, and Jake Brodsky. Congrats to Jake, regular season picks champion. Did a good job over there. I try, I try. And then Lamar, finishing in second. Uh, and, well, just like his Eagles. And, well, Liam and I... Both finished in last. I don't know who was third, who was fourth. I would just like to say, I would just like to say, the year that the years that the Giants have won the last two Super Bowls, we have been wild card. So it doesn't take the best in the regular season to win it all. And who is a who is a wild card this year? The two, uh, the two of us, we're wild cards. Liam and I. So picks are gonna go well. I like. And Liam. I like to think of myself as the Capitals. You know, maybe this great regular season is the year I turned it into postseason success. It's happening. All right. Well, anyway, let's get straight into the picks, and let's hope that Brodsky's right about that last statement, at least for the Capitals part of things. Let's go Chiefs at Texans, the first AFC wild card matchup. Liam, who do you think is going to win it? I'm just going to rattle off some postseason stats for Alex Smith. So in 2013, when he played the Colts, they put up 44 points. He threw for 378 yards and four touchdowns and no interceptions. In three games, he's got nine touchdowns and zero picks. Alex Chief is the most. Alex Smith is the most underrated playoff quarterback there is. I'm taking the Chiefs. Mark, uh, I don't have the stats to back it up. I'm just doing like I've gone a year off the gut. I just don't think the Texans have enough offense to win this game, so I'm picking the Chiefs. Uh, I think they keep the streak alive. And Bryce. Oh, well, I told myself I wasn't going to do this, but I'm doing it. You know, DeAndre Hopkins has been on another level this year. J.J. Watt, ridiculous. Jadavion Clowney, that defense has been playing incredible. I'm taking the Texans to end that win streak. You know, I actually wanted to take the Texans this one. I feel like they can really surprise people. But at the same time, you know, it was weird. When Jamal Charles went down somehow, the Chiefs <laughs> – didn't seem to turn around, and I think that, that two-headed monster of Charkandrick West, and I'm blanking on the other running back's name, Spencer Ware. Spencer Ware. Um, you know, I, I think that that those two, that one-two punch has been huge for them, and Alex Smith has been playing well, and Andy Reid is a great coach. I'm going with the Chiefs to win this one. And on to the next game, the other AFC matchup: Steelers at Bengals. Now, an interesting development. Steelers just announcing that D'Angelo Williams probably will not play in that game. Liam, does that change things for you? I, I think it does. I think it really forces Pittsburgh to be one-dimensional. I really like Cincinnati's defense. They're playing at home, and I think this is the year the Bengals will get that playoff win. I think the Steelers are overhyped. Lamar? It's really hard for me to bet on Cincinnati in the playoffs, but luckily I don't. Is Dalton back, do we know? Nope, he's not. Oh, Bill McCarron leading them? Yeah. I think the fact that D'Angelo's not playing just pushes me towards Cincinnati. So I I agree with Liam. I think this is the year that Cincinnati finally gets a playoff victory. I don't mean to go with the crowd, but I really do think that this is Cincinnati's year. I mean, even though they don't have Dalton, it's guys like Geno Atkins, Giovanni Bernard, Jeremy Hill, A.J. Green. It's their time to shine. I think that the Bengals are going to get this one done. McCarron had a sneaky, pretty bad game his last week, week 17. But I think that the Bengals get this one done with that stellar defense. All right, here's what I'll say. The Steelers went healthy. If you put Le'Veon in there, a healthy Big Ben, have D'Angelo to get some carries, you know, Antonio Brown, Martavis Bryant, that whole receiving course healthy. They don't have a great defense, but that's probably the best or the second best offense in the NFL, I think. Um, you know, they really got screwed over with injuries this year, and now they're not going to have really any running game for this playoff matchup. So I think you got to go with the Bengals in this one. Even though they haven't succeeded in the playoffs in the past, and even though A.J. McCarron's going to be leading this team, just like you guys said, the Steelers are going to be one-dimensional. I don't see them winning this game. Bengals take this one easily. And on to the NFC games. Seahawks at Vikings possibly one of the coldest games in NFL history. And if you look at StubHub, tickets are as low as almost $30. That's 
more than seventy dollars less than what Redskins tickets are going for right now. So Liam, what do you think of the game? No, we're not sure what we're gonna get out of Marshawn Lynch. He's still fighting that sports hernia. We're still still haven't gotten word on what his they status is going to be. be. They expect him to be healthy. They expect him to be healthy. You know, Seattle put the beat down on Minnesota the first time these two teams played at TCF Bank Stadium. I'm gonna take Seattle again, but they have a, they're the five point favorite. I would take Minnesota on the spread. I really think this is gonna be a close, low scoring game. Mark. I'd agree with that. Uh, you said tickets for this game are going for $30, $70 less than what you said Packers tickets are going for because no one's going to see the Redskins. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, but, yeah, I'm also taking the Seahawks. They've proven the last two seasons that they find success in the postseason no matter how likely it seems that they make it back. I don't think they're making another Super Bowl run, but I do think they make it out of the first round. Before I give my pick, I'm going to give you guys a quick scenario what you think is more likely. This comes from the NFL Network. Now, what's more likely? Marshawn Lynch has more rush yards than the Vikings have pass yards? Or Mike Wallace has more catches than the temperature and degrees Fahrenheit <laughs> at the game? <laughs> Mike Wallace does not see the ball. Yeah, uh... Unless it's negative, how how negative is it supposed to be? Because he might give well, up. It could be anywhere between negative and maybe one two degrees. But I think if it goes over two degrees, then you're losing that bet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ask Siri real quick. Weather Minneapolis. It doesn't look so nice in Minneapolis, Jesus. Minnesota, between today and January. All right. 17th, well, it says it's gonna be a high of three. High of three and a low of negative five. So I am gonna say. Oh, I called the range perfectly. I said the the Doug Baldwin thing is not likely. Mike Wallace. But Mike Wallace. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm thinking Marshawn Lynch is more likely than that. And we yeah. don't even know if he's gonna play. If it gets a, if it gets to three, it might. I uh, have to go uh, Marshawn Lynch. All right, so now guys, here comes my pick. I'm taking Seattle. I don't think Minnesota is built to play from behind, and Seattle's offense has been operating at such a high level that I don't see Minnesota being able to keep pace. They've taken great strides, and they're a young team. But this is maybe step two for them versus step ten for Seattle. They're just in a better place. They know what they're doing. All right, here's what I'll say. Playoff time is Seahawks time. This is a team that's had plenty of success in the postseason. I think that... I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I'm going to say that for the third consecutive year, the Seahawks will go to the Super Bowl. I think they easily win this game and dominate the Vikings. And now, moving on to the biggest game of the weekend. You like that. I know Liam does. I know Lamar especially does like that, especially after week 16, seeing those Eagles get eliminated. But Redskins, Packers, FedEx Field, I will hopefully be going – and Liam, what do you think is going to happen in the game? You know, before the season started, Michael Finley tweeted out, how will Aaron Rodgers do without Jordy Nelson? And, you know, he received a lot of criticism saying that Aaron Rodgers is one of the best quarterbacks, blah, blah, blah. But it's a fair tweet looking back on it. Aaron Rodgers has just not played well this season. And for that reason, I'm going to take the Redskins who play well at home. All right, Lamar. I I I'm not ready to do it. I'm not ready to pick pick that team. Uh, this is why you came in second, not came oh. in first. Uh, the Redskins have, to their credit, the Redskins have been playing very great football. <laughs> uh, Kirk Cousins had a amazing season. Uh, I believe he set some records for the team. I'm just not ready to give them that edge over Aaron Rodgers and the Packers yet. I think as long as Rodgers is still their quarterback, while he has struggled in the past couple of weeks, while they have taken a couple of losses, I think come playoff time, he's hungry and he 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 leads that team. I don't think the Redskins can do it. I, I really don't think they can do it. All right, Jake. Flum, cue up the music. You like that. I'm going with the Skins. Any analysis? <laughs> no, it's, it's a big one. All heart. right, it's okay. I, I agree with the decision. Anyway, I'll give some analysis into this. You know, a lot of people have been saying the Redskins didn't beat anyone. 
They can't beat any teams with a winning record. But if you look at that, the way you become a good team in the NFL is by beating the teams that you're supposed to beat. If the Redskins beat every team, if the Redskins are better than every team that doesn't have a winning record in the NFL, that puts them in the top 13, which merits them a playoff spot. And, you know, they're in the playoffs. They're ready to go. Kirk Cousins has been playing some incredible football for the past two months. Jordan Reed has been excellent. You know, that the Redskins defense has been good enough. So... I don't see how you don't go with the Redskins in this game. You know they're going to get to Aaron Rodgers. You know Kirk's going to have success in the air. Redskins beat the Packers. Redskins advance to the divisional playoff round. Flum. Yes, Brodsky? I was in Rockville yesterday asking people this very question. I had three different people pick a Redskins Super Bowl. Are you ready to go there? See, this is why I'm not ready to pick the team because people, they, they're not, they're not, it's satisfied. You get to the playoffs, and that that should be enough to make you guys happy. They should satisfy. You guys weren't supposed to make it. You guys were supposed to be bottom of the division. I'm sorry, Lamar. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not satisfied. Three Super Bowls compared to how many of the you Eagles? I weren't alive to any of them. This is like this is. I don't. Yeah, Liam's the only one who can make that argument to me because you, neither you nor Jake were alive for the Red. You know, three is more than two, Liam. Yeah, but, but I know. I just don't I I don't believe the Redskins are the team that Redskins fans think they are. And they're never the team that Redskins fans think they are. And that's why I don't think they win the playoff this this they game. Are what they thought we were. <laughs> you like that? Well who did you think they were? I thought they were last in the division. They proved me wrong. I don't think they'll prove me wrong on this one. They're not a Super Bowl team by they any are. their front the seven is good. Win. I want you to wear a Redskins jersey and just run around telling people you like that for a day. If if they win the Super Bowl? No, if they win this game. No way. I, no, I I don't I have they I think they could possibly win this game. I have If the Redskins go to the conference championship, when we get back to school, Lamar has to wear a a Redskins jersey going around campus screaming you like that. Yep. The Redskins make it to the conference championship. I'll wear a Redskins jersey. One of you guys have to provide it because I don't own anything like that. Gotcha. Uh, and I'll I'll run around screaming you like that a couple of times. All right. A couple of times. I'm talking about for like a half hour. No. Ten, I'm talking about minutes. standing on the top of McKeldin Mall and every person that walks by you. I will absolutely scream you, you like, like that at the top of McKeldin Mall. I will stand on top of Testudo and do it if you guys make it. To the All right. Yep. Yeah, that's right. it. Okay. Thanks well, for watching. Let me get a you like that before we go. What did you say, Brodsky? I said, Lamar, let me get a you like that before we go. You like that. There we go. Liam, you like that? I wish we had Tom Coughlin. All right. <laughs> and on that note, hope everybody has a great holiday, whatever holiday is coming up. Enjoy you the like rest that? of the winter breaks, okay. and uh, go Redskins.